Welcome to the Western Association for College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered. Oh, at strivescan.com slash W-A-C-A, W-A-C-A-C, excuse me. <laughs> and now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter from Columbia College, Chicago. Take it away. Thank you once again, Anna and colleagues and friends. It's a pleasure to be here with you this evening. We're gonna start off in the Windy City and talk a little bit about Columbia College Chicago. Um, I first want to just give a shout out to StriveScan and WACAC for programming this and uh, many more of these events. Uh, so students and guests, as your schedule permits, please sign up for all of these wonderful events. I'm a proud WACAC member and I'm happy to be supporting these series. Um, so Columbia College Chicago, we are a school located in downtown Chicago. I want to welcome you to screenshot or uh, scan this QR code. Really anything that I'm presenting here is, is for you to keep. So um, however you need to get in contact with me after today, please feel welcome to do so. And again, you may screenshot or screen grab any of this information that sticks out to you. Um, I like to start by acknowledging who we are and what we do. So uh, Columbia College Chicago, we are a private institution. We are a nonprofit institution and we are fully accredited. Um, believe it or not, we are our own institution. So we are not affiliated with any other Columbia's out there. Um, and our only campus is located in downtown Chicago. Our principal uh, educational model is one that intentionally blends the creative arts with business and a liberal arts experience. And so what this means is that all students at Columbia are in some way, shape or form producing and or supporting creative work but they're also engaging with some level of business, uh, classes in marketing, classes in um, entrepreneurship. And then of course, we do have a liberal arts experience where students study some math, some science, some history, some humanities courses. Students at Columbia, I, I, I like to acknowledge, I think they're intentionally choosing a school like Columbia because of these four reasons. Number one, the city of Chicago. Um, it's the third largest city in the United States. I think it provides our students a lot of real world experiences, um, plus absolutely, you know, getting engaged with a city that relies on its creative communities. Number two, a collaborative experience that centers around difference. We have students coming from all 50 states um, and students have varying levels of expertise and interest in some of the creative work. And so just being around like-minded people, but people who have different skills and abilities is, a, I think, a, a reason why students choose Columbia. Suffice it to say, we program a hands-on learning and creating experience. So students start in their programs the first semester they're in the college, um, getting access to equipment and tools and of course each other and faculty members. And then ultimately we wanna provide resources for students to network uh, with each other, but alumni, professionals, again, in the city of Chicago, all with a focus on preparing you, the student, for your careers. So we have right now just over 6,000 students um, and I want to focus on the, the slide to the right. Um, we have kind of six main areas of, of academic and creative work at the college. Um, media and digital arts, visual arts, music and sound arts, the performing arts, communication and writing arts, and then the aforementioned business and management programs that support all of the creative students. On the next slide, you'll see a much more comprehensive list of, of majors and programs at the institution, but um, you know, we pretty much have it all at our institution and a lot of different options between programs. Um, I like to acknowledge at this point that we welcome students to have interdisciplinary experiences if that's something that you want. We are all about students double majoring and exploring minors and using their, their elective credits to, to you know, perk their creative interests in other areas. So um, I think we program a really flexible educational model for students to earn and learn the creative skills uh, that are most appealing to you. 
So as I wind down, um, just quickly get to the nuts and bolts of the application. Um, we are on the common application and we also have our own application. Um, so if you're interested in applying to Columbia, our fall 2021 application is currently still open, um, but anything beyond fall 2021 will open uh, later in the summer. We always practice a holistic and a rolling admission process. Uh, we have always been test optional, and I hope soon we will become a test-free institution. Um, auditions and portfolios will vary by your major, um, but I think the most important thing to note is that if you have any questions about your audition or portfolio process, um, by all means, give me a shout. Um, and then Probably even better news is if and when you submit an audition or a portfolio, you're automatically going to be considered for um, some scholarships at Columbia. We also encourage all of our students and families, if possible, to submit a FAFSA that just ensures all the, the money is being maximized on your behalf. Um, and again, if you have any questions about the application process, there's our website. I'll lastly say transfer students. We absolutely welcome them. Um, transferring is a very individual process for students. So um, if any of you have any questions about transferring to Columbia, again, please give me a shout and I will be here to help. So I'm going to wind down with, I hope, just some inspiring words to say, again, thank you for being here. Um, and no matter the time that we're all experiencing, I hope you're finding moments of inspiration, of hope, of uh, realizing and imagining all that's possible for you and your work in the future. Um, and again, it's been a pleasure to be with you and my lovely esteemed colleagues. So please stay well, please be good to yourself and to each other. And I hope I'll see you at some point in the future. Take care. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Cornish College of the Arts. Hi, everyone. Um, so uh, thanks for having me here today. Um, so my name is Albert Rubio, and I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Cornish College of the Arts. And we are a four-year visual and performing arts college. We are located in Seattle, Washington. We're over 100 years old, and we're also one of the only arts colleges in the country where visual and performing artists get to study together. Um, this is our founder, Nellie Cornish, and she and the many teaching artists who followed her believed in education through exposure to all of the arts. And that perspective really led to some of the greatest innovations in the arts during the early 20th century. It shaped much of how we create and appreciate work today. And it also helped to put the Pacific Northwest on the map as a thriving arts community. And our mission here at Cornish is to provide students like you who are aspiring to become practicing artists with an educational program of the highest possible quality in an environment that nurtures creativity and intellectual curiosity while preparing you to contribute to society as artists, citizens, and innovators. And we realized this mission by offering baccalaureate studies in the performing and visual arts and by serving as a focal point for public presentation, artistic criticism, participation, and discussion of the arts. Our degrees are also designed to, build, to help you build all of the skills that you would need to navigate the professional landscapes of the 21st century. We're gonna be educating you in critical thinking, creative problem solving, collaboration, as well as the generation of new work. You'll be focusing on traditional as well as interdisciplinary and experimental art forms. And your faculty here are professional working artists and they're committed mentors as well. They maintain thriving careers in their respective fields. And this really provides them with all the knowledge and skill necessary to train artists of today. The community at Cornish is also dedicated to small classes, mentorship and personalized instruction. So the average class size here is about 13 students and the faculty to student ratio is one faculty member for every seven students who are studying with us. So as an artist studying at Cornish, you would get all of that individualized and personal instruction that's super important to an arts education. We are an urban campus uh, located in downtown Seattle, immersed within the arts and culture of the city. Seattle is one of the world's epicenters for the visual and performing arts, and we really think that this makes it an ideal city to pursue an artistic education. Seattle houses some of the country's best live music, theater, and dance companies, a popular music scene that has garnered both national as well as international attention. We've got about 20 live theater venues, and we also have Pioneer Square, which is known as one of the country's most prominent art gallery districts. Seattle is also home to the Fifth Avenue Theater, Seattle International Film Festival, Seattle Art Museum, and the Upstream and Bumbershoot Music Festivals, just to name a few. 
Essentially, Seattle is a thriving professional community for practicing artists, and Cornish has been at the forefront of the Seattle creative scene for more than 100 years. We are located in Seattle South Lake Union District, which is actually where Amazon maintains most of their campus spaces. And our campus is surrounded by creative agencies, architecture and design firms, many nonprofits, and we're within walking distance from all of the prominent creative spaces for art and culture. You'll find Cornish alumni, faculty, and even current students making lots of bold, innovative work all over the city. And you're also gonna have access to a variety of state-of-the-art creative and performance spaces. And what's cool is that these spaces are actually available for use by all of our majors, regardless of their discipline. Visual artists are making art in individual and shared studios, materials labs, editing and recording suites and more. And performance artists are rehearsing, performing and learning in a wide array of practice spaces, black box studios, historic concert halls, and the iconic Cornish Playhouse and now had a black box studio, which are located in Seattle Center. And that's actually a complex that houses all of our large scale arts and performance venues and famously also the Space Needle. Currently at Cornish, we are training students from 38 states and 18 countries, and many of our students are living right here in the Cornish Commons, which is our 20 story residence hall that we built with artists in mind. Commons features plenty of space and lots of special amenities like private baths, movement studios, practice rooms, and even an art studio. The 20th floor is also reserved just for the residents and it boasts amazing views of the city. Um, we offer these Bachelor of Fine Arts degrees that you see on the screen in the visual arts and the performing arts. Uh, for music students, we actually offer a Bachelor of Music. And then we also have some Bachelor of Arts options that are designed for students who are coming in with an associate's degree or equivalent. And that will allow you to finish um, a degree in these majors in an additional two years. Um, some interesting info. So last year, Cornish actually became the first and the only art college in the country to lower its tuition. We lowered it by 20%, and we also award over 4 million in scholarships each year to over 95% of our students, with all admitted students being automatically considered for merit-based scholarships that are guaranteed for four years. If you are interested in applying to Cornish, um, we still are taking applications, and you can go to apply.cornish.edu slash apply or you can apply through the Common App as well. Um, priority consideration is given to students who apply for admission and financial aid by our early action deadline of December 1. And then all students um, who are wanting to apply for scholarship should apply by February 15th. Uh, but then after that deadline, we still consider applications on a space available basis. Um, thanks so much for having me. And um, we really hope that some of you will consider to apply to Cornish College of the Arts either this year or next year. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design. And feel free to send in any Q&A questions. All right, hello everyone. I am Juliette and I'll be telling you about Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design tonight. We are also known as REMCAD and these sl slides are filled with examples of REMCAD students, artwork and the vibe we have at the college. So um, we are the premier art and design college that's located in the Mountain West region outside of downtown Denver, Colorado. And REMCAD campus is beautiful with rich history. Established in 1963, our student body was founded on something more than academic excellence. Creative minds take root here for the relentless support, innovation in both teaching and mentoring, and also operational excellence. Students come to REMCAD for an education, but they stay for the creative community. So much so that the REMCAD Renew program is a popular return on invest investment as it sets alumni up to audit classes for free after they graduate. That's right, I said it, for free. So here you see the uh, bachelor's of fine art degrees listed and more and from teaching to how to bring drawings to life through animation and game art design to capturing moments making photographs or building immersive sculptures to walk through in fine arts. REMCAD offers multidisciplinary range of artistic uh, pr design programs. Now NASAD stands for National Associations of Schools of Art and Design one of the accreditation body that holds us to a high degree of academic excellence and accountability. Screen grab this or capture the QR code now if you are someone here tonight who is, who is ready to learn about REMCAD 
or you could fast track to remcad.edu to submit an application without any fees before you submit any portfolio. Because at REMCAD, we require a portfolio for admissions filled with your own original artwork. I will say REMCAD recognizes applicants are in the student learning stage of their artistic career, so to, do not put too much pressure on yourself. Your admissions counselor will set you up for success during what we call an admissions interview. So within a year of your expected start date, REMCAD requires an admissions interview with your guardian. And this is when we learn about your artistic aspirations. You learn about the REMCAD programs, meet your program chair, other resourceful individuals like our fantastic financial aid team. If it's a good fit, then details of portfolio and other requirements are explained and no standardized tests are needed. So why REMCAD? Small class sizes, studio classes with hands-on instruction and classes designed to teach skills of immersive 3D and 2D storytelling through art are some of the reasons why. We help individuals refine and develop our artistic technical skills, voice and vision. Incoming students may choose an emphasis in certain programs. For instance, in illustration, learners can choose to emphasize in concept design or children's book illustration or to learn sequential art. Sequential art are the, are the illustrations that you may see when you're reading the directions on how to put something together. Also, our degree sequence is unique. It's designed for creatives to spend more time on projects and, uh, and take, I'm sorry, to spend more time on less projects by taking only two classes every eight weeks and still graduate on time. Another feature are the professional practice classes throughout our uh, throughout prepare our graduates for success to enter workforce jobs and niche industries with solid portfolios, communication skills, and marketing skills. Student accessibility services are available in an effort to promote, to promote wellness in the community one individual at a time and students um, will also find academic support in the Student Learning Center. Also, students gain access to real artists and designers and liberal arts professionals who have lived and worked in their respective industries. Artists are the lifelong learners and make some of the best teachers. For instance, Paul Chani is a talented graphic designer who works for Adobe now. He's teaching and promoting their software programs. And he's quoted here on the importance of the hustle, a portfolio, and being taught by experts in the field. So other alumni have worked at Pixar, Google, ESPN, North Face, Apple, and more. For you, keep practicing, embrace your failures, learn from your adversity. And also know that a number of the courses at REMCAD spread across the humanities and liberal arts will help with the breadth and depth of critical thinking, the knowledge of the world around you. And that will all intersect with your creative work. Chris Asso Apache, is, uh, he teaches in the liberal arts department and he, his motto is never be afraid to stand out. And you can see it worked because Oprah selected uh, the book that holds, holds one of his poems called an anthology of native nations. So it's an art in a different way of poetry, still at a visual art and design college. So do you have something to say about social inequality, poverty, food, water security, ongoing wars, conflicts, conflict, you know, climate change, coronavirus, consider how artists and designers were at the front lines bringing visual communications as new CDC guidelines came up. How do you think how art helps the world, right? Um, and including a number of personal benefits to making art from learning to be flexible and thought to developing a dynamic range of competencies. And I love that dopamine production increases, which means more happy feelings. Yay, sounds like a healthy way to cope through the distress during 2021, right? Furthermore, when making art, you get to explain something that is important to you. They say, if you know how to use the right tools, you could achieve anything. So from the start of the REMCAD experience, we encourage our students to use these resources to not only work together, but to grow in their education it allows for networking in the industries. So go to remcad.edu to see which of these events are open to the public. While you're there, RSVP for the open house on 4121. You could also find information about tuition costs. We are about a third of the cost of other NASAD accredited institutions at about 20,000 per year. And there are scholarships that are available. You may screen grab this, take a picture and I gotta go. So thank you for your attention. Thank you. Next we'll be hearing from Sidham.
Sorry. There, can you hear me now? Okay, so let me start over. Um, my name is Megan Sterling. I represent FEDM, and I am joined by my colleague, Roseanne Johnson, who it will be monitoring the Q&A and the chat. She will be putting in some links there for you to get some more information. But I want to take you to our web page, which is fitum.edu, and really walk you through this and tell you what the FITM story is. And I also want to say the other three colleges that we heard from, amazing stories. I learned a lot too. And I think my advice for all you students and parents out there is look at them all. They all have something to offer. and find which one is right for you. So a little bit about FITM started in 1969. It is a four year private accredited college located in um, downtown Los Angeles. That's where we started. We also have an Orange County campus, which is for first year only students and then they transfer into our Los Angeles campus. If when you're able to come visit, this is the main lobby of our FITM campus where we showcase student work um, and you can begin your tour. Obviously we're doing everything virtual now and as you can see on our webpage here, we actually have a virtual visit tab that will walk you through the campus. So why do students come to FITM? Well, I think one of the things you should check out is what makes us different? Because as we heard from our other colleges, we all have something special to offer. We also have small class size, about one to 15 to student teacher ratio. Um, we, um, you can check out our college rankings. Um, we work a lot within the industry. Our campus is located in the heart of the fashion industry. So um, blocks away. We're also close um, to everything that is happening in Los Angeles, which is really the hub of the fashion and entertainment industries. Um, it is a project-based learning. We are a design and a business college. So you are going to do lots of projects during your time at FITM. But we do like to say we're in the business of design as well as the design of business. So no matter what your major is, you have lots of different choices that you can do. Okay, so what can you major in? Well, we have over 30 different majors that you can explore. And as you're scrolling through our website, you will notice the top half of every tab is either a, a beautiful graphic or a short video. So 30 plus different majors. These are the different types of degrees that you can get from FITM. So FITM is WASC accredited. We are also NASAT accredited, which is, you know, a couple of the colleges have already highlighted that. That is very specialized and a very prestigious accreditation. So we are happy to hold that as well. 30 different majors, about 50-50 business and design. However, they all center around the fashion and entertainment industries. Um, some, we started as a business college long before we were a design college, but now we are a little bit of both. So not just fashion design, all sorts of different majors that we have. Graphic design, digital marketing, our graphic design program is actually ranked number five in the United States by College Magazine. So we're really excited about that. Okay, continuing through here, the admissions process, very similar to the other colleges. Um, you know, we require a portfolio project. We have um, a couple letters of recommendation, the application personal statement, similar to the other colleges. What I advise you to check out though is the financial aid. Well, you will find all the scholarship information that is out there. We do take FAFSA. So we have um, lots of scholarships through that as well. You can also start your application as a high school junior, as well as a transfer student from community college. So lots of different ways that you can come to FITM and the other final thing down here is our FITM lookbook. Take a look at that. You can see student work in there and um, lots of great information. 
I think the most important thing though about FITM is our success stories and what our alumni are doing. We have over 70,000 alumni and just a few of the really big ones I want to talk about. One is Sarah Beards. She is actually the creative marketing director at Marvel Studios. So she's a really um, big graduate for us in, the, in just the last five years. But those success stories, we update them all the time. Um, we just had, this one's from today, we just had a designer who's showing at Rome Fashion Week. Um, this student is part of John Paul Mitchell's, um, she was named CEO. So if you know Paul Mitchell hair care products, this is it. So my um, colleague Roseanne put in the chat how you connect with FITM and she put both our links in there. You can use either one. I encourage you to do that. I also encourage you to check out our events. They're all virtual. They're all free. Um, last week we had the costume designer from Bridgerton come and speak to our students. That is now open to you also. So lots of great things for um, you to explore. Um, on the majors tab, we also have a career quiz that you can take at the very bottom. So we look forward to meeting you and having you um, come virtually visit our campus. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Savannah College of Art and Design. Hey everyone, my name is Namita Chandra and I'm the Assistant Director of Admission for SCAD. And I just wanna show you a quick video so that we can um, jump into the presentation right away. Oh, it doesn't let me share my screen. Oh yeah, got it. I'm driven to create, to be expressive, to collaborate with only the best and across disciplines. If you have an outlet like the arts where you can be in these other worlds and imagine anything, growing up in the arts, I've seen it change people's lives. There are things happening in our classrooms where students are actually reimagining their own education in the way that we communicate with each other. What is that next step for them? How are they going to make those contacts with their future employers? During my time at SCAD, what was so magical was that it was this hot pot of creative people from different types of majors that could influence each other. I would say my two greatest lessons that I learned from SCAD were learning the structure of the industry and, and the strong work ethic, but I think you really hone those skills at SCAD. I am the creative director of Christopher John Rogers. Growing up, I always knew that, I, that fashion was my passion. Ew, gross, okay, wait. <laughs> I absolutely love SCAD. I love SCAD too. I love it more than John Krasinski. <laughs> Hey, Bees. Hey, Scott. Hello, Scott. Extremely bright, smart people who love creativity, fashion, design, art, film, telling their version of their own story. I am an artist. I am a performer. I'm an entrepreneur. Storyteller. Thanks to SCAD, my future as a creative professional is real. It's happening. You are the next incarnation of this beautiful planet that needs design, that needs beauty, that needs your mind and your spirit and your energy, your power, your unique voice. Because you have something unique to say. This is Scat. Anyone who asks me about college in the U.S., all I say is, SCAD. Don't even think of anything else. SCAD was founded in 1978, and for more than 40 creative years, we've grown to become the most comprehensive and connected art and design university in the world. With locations in Atlanta, Lacoste, France, Savannah, and online via SCAD e-learning. From day one, SCAD has served as the preeminent source of knowledge in every discipline we teach. 
The university is incredibly diverse with approximately 15,000 students representing all 50 states and more than 100 countries. We offer more programs of study and specializations than any other art and design university in the United States with over 100 degree programs across more than 40 majors and over 75 minors. Career preparation is at the heart of SCAD's mission. As evidenced by the university's stellar alumni employment rate, 99% of spring 2019 alumni were either employed seeking further education or both within 10 months of graduation, with 91% of them working in creative fields. From the moment you arrive at SCAD, your creative career begins and you will discover a world of professional opportunities. As a student, you'll collaborate with leading companies through SCAD Pro, where students dream up design solutions for global brands. Recently, students reimagined Disney resorts, pitched the future of advertising for Google, and marketed driverless cars for Volvo. Proof that real world experience will set you apart from the competition and bring your dream job that much closer to reality. Whether it's hearing inspirational words from music legends, attending a masterclass or an exclusive screening with award-winning actors or showing a collection to esteemed designers, these exclusive opportunities are unique to SCAD. SCAD offers everything to suit your interests in or out of the classroom. At our Atlanta and Savannah locations, there are more than 100 student clubs from cultural community and leadership organizations to academic and special interests. We also have competitive intercollegiate athletics program and intramural sports for your choosing. Once you're accepted to SCAD, you're accepted to all of our locations. You can choose to study in Savannah or Atlanta, or you could even do a study abroad program in Lacoste, France, or you could do your learning on e-learning, which is available whenever and on, whenever you can get online. And speaking of e-learning, we also offer Guests in Gusto, which is a virtual series of exclusive Zoom digital content where you can listen to your favorite creators and innovators speak. And we can also, um, we, you can also look into pre-college programs. So some of seminar students can experience interactive workshops and get a glimpse of life at SCAD. And eligible high school students can also earn college credit through SCAD Now pre-college program via e-learning. And through these avenues, you'll be on a fast track to college. And speaking about the admission process, we encourage students to apply in the junior year. You start with the application, you work alongside an advisor, you complete the application, and then we take about two to four weeks to let you know the admission decision and the scholarships that apply to you. We highly recommend you visit our campus in person. And remember to stay connected on social media. You can reach out to us on our website, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or even check out some cool videos on YouTube. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in today's presentation. And I'm gonna share a link so that if you wanna learn more about SCAD, you can fill out that form on the website for more information. So I just put it in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Lastly, we'll be hearing from Otis College of Art and Design. Greetings, everyone. Sorry about that quick technical difficulty. My name is Brittany Fields. I'm an admissions counselor at Otis College of Art and Design, and I'm happy to share with you all some information about Otis College, our campus, our community, and just so you all can keep stay connected to Otis College post this presentation, since it is a bit abbreviated, I am dropping into the chat our registration link, as well as our email for um, general questions to admissions, our website link, and our visit Otis link. And this is the way that we actually are staying connected to you and your family. So we have lots of special events like portfolio development, other info sessions. It's a great way for you to get more information about Otis College or connect with admissions counselor one-on-one -on -one to get portfolio development, portfolio reviews, or just ask any questions you might have about Otis College. So without further ado, we're going to get started with a quick video and dive into Otis College.
There's so much opportunity in Los Angeles. Downtown is right down the street. The beach is right down the street. There's people from all different countries here. It's exciting and inspiring because you get to know people from all over the world who are constantly making things around you. It's a beautiful thing that not only to see your work, but to see the people that you've been working with closely for so long. Enthused about the work and like kind of coming together as a community. Everyone knows each other. Everyone's super friendly. All of the professors, they all just want to help you and they want to see you succeed. Otis taught me how to stay open-minded wherever design may take me. Really expand my horizons and take design to wherever I would want to. I feel very accepted studying here. I can be myself, I can be my true self. You're always being helped and helping, so it's a great environment. I was going to be surrounded by people to push me to be a better version of myself and to, at the end of it, become who I've always imagined myself to be. So just thinking about Otis College, Otis College is a four-year Bachelor's of Arts program located in Southern, um, Southern California. It's actually nested in Southern California in a city called Westchester. So in addition to a wonderful arts education, creatives will be integrated in the diversity of the art world and music culture of Los Angeles, as well as they'll be able to monopolize on the nature and the industry partners right in Otis College's backyard. Kind of like Loyola and Marymount, you see here we have a registration or cross-registration agreement with, with our students. So students can enjoy Great art, good nature, and great weather. Um, Otis College also aims to reflect the ethnic diversity of Los Angeles, the Los Angeles community um, within the campus community. And you can see here on the left is some demographics of our current community. Um, we have 1038 about our student population. So our student faculty ratio hovers around six to one. Um, so it's a very close knit. I always call it small but mighty. So we're a small school, but very um, prominent in the um, art community saying that we are 100 plus years old. We are one of the oldest fine art professional schools in Southern California. Some other notes about our diversity, which is super important to um, Otis because we are one of the most diverse art schools in the nation. Um, we have 31% first generation students, 24% of our student populations are um, international, and also 30% of our students are transfer. So again, we're getting students from different ethnographic backgrounds as well as college experience backgrounds. And we really appreciate working with our students one-on-one, -on -one, whether it is your first time applying to college or um, you're coming back to school or transitioning from another institution. So it's really important to us as how we work with students in their transition. Um, also, um, considering the fact that we are oh, over 100 years old, there are still some very new things that people experience when they come to Otis College. Seeing our residence hall, which are still pretty fresh for students, and our on-campus dining facilities, which serve as farm to table fresh cuisine, and our quad, where we have a lot of wonderful special events throughout the year for our students to participate and kind of connect with their, um, their peers on campus. In addition to the residence hall on campus, we also have a facility off on right across the street off campus for students to reside in if they wish. And again, these facilities are open to students 24 seven. So regardless of kind of how they choose to work, they're able to access these spaces and work in the studios, labs and shops, regardless of their major. We have 3D print shops, um, um, model shops, photo labs, whatever you can think of in terms of what you wanna create, we have a kind of a facility to kind of support students in creating their work. So quickly, what you can study at Otis College, we have seven different majors with eight areas of emphasis. Um, one great thing that you'll get to know about today is architecture, landscape, and interiors is actually getting upgraded to environmental design, where students will, will be able to choose between two emphasis, one focused on furniture design and the other on ALI. In addition to that, we have some other very popular majors like digital media, which encompasses animation and fashion design, which are also popular majors at Otis College as well.
So quickly to wrap things up, we have a wonderful career services department that supports our students and kind of getting to where they might want to be. This is a small sampling of some of the places where Otis College students currently work. And to let you all know what's next, applying to Otis College, we're actually doing something very special right now, which is the quick app. And it's giving students um, a 15 minute session to kind of apply to Otis College. Very quick, um, otis.edu slash apply now. You'll have an admissions counselor working with you going through the application processes for freshmen and transfer applications, but in a normal cycle. And generally we do use the common application and accept applications on a rolling basis. Um, so if you have any additional questions, please email us at admissions at otis.edu or check out some of our special events. We love to help you and meet you and work you through the process. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Um, so we have uh, four minutes left, so I am just going to have us briefly do a uh, and a um, if everyone could just come back on and share an interesting or did very we can start with Columbia College um, of Chicago. Um, interesting or fun fact, um, goodness. Well, every year, even in the midst of the, the past year, um, all of our students have programmed a, an arts festival. So they get to showcase their work at the end of our school year. It's like homecoming, but it happens at the very end of the year. Uh, so we're, we're making it happen, our students are. We just going in the order. Yeah, I was just gonna say I think oh, cool. we lost we lost Great. Anna. So thank you. Awesome. Cool. Um, I think an interesting or fun fact about um, Cornish is um, that we actually we're we're not like spread out, but you you get um, different locations around the city where our campus is. So most of our campus spaces are in um, the South Lake Union area, which is where um, Amazon uh, .com <laughs> maintains all of their campus spaces. But then we also have some theaters in Seattle Center. Um, and then we also have our original like building that was constructed quite a long time ago. Um, that's where music and dance is housed and that's in Capitol Hill. Um, so you kind of get an experience of the whole city um, being a student at Cornish just because of all the different spaces we have. Hey everyone again at REMCAD. Um, the students that are in graphic design, they're interested in design solutions. Uh, they have the opportunity to join a chapter of AIGA, which is the American Institute of Graphic uh, Arts. And so they would join the Colorado chapter. And then we host a design slam annually where we are, um, you know, having a prompt and the students who wish to participate in it have X amount of time to work on that prompt. And um, everybody's looking at the screens as they're working. And it's a really fun event. It kind of reminds me of what happens in Vegas when all everybody's gathered around an area and they're all cheering the, the gambler on but in this case it's designers and oftentimes it's the friends of who's in the audience. Hi, um, a fun fact about FITM is many years ago we were the original home of that show Project Runway before it got moved to the East Coast. Um, one of the advisors for Project Runway was Nick Berrios. He was actually on it. He didn't win it, but then he um, was an advisor. He is now our fashion design, costume design department chair. So, and he teaches at FITM, is a FITM graduate. So that's really exciting. Um, also the founders of Juicy Couture, that brand, it's, um, they sold the brand a few years ago. They actually met at FITM. One of them is a FITM graduate. So that velour suit was started at FITM and we have a showcase of it on our campus for students to see. 
Uh, well, um, a fun fact that I would like to share is one about uh, about our alumni stories. So uh, the VP of the US, so Kamala Harris's inauguration outfit was actually designed by SCAD alum Christopher John Rogers. And we at SCAD are so proud of our students. So that's a fun fact. And besides that, um, I think having four campus locations. So once you're accepted to SCAD, you're literally accepted to all of our campus locations and you can make that change. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, a quick fun fact that we actually just found out about is um, the game design school rankings just came out for 2021 and Otis College was ranked ninth, so in the top 10 for West Coast. So we're really excited and proud about that and kind of happy to share as it's one of our more popular majors at Otis. Great. Thank you all for sharing and thank you all for joining us. Um, when you go to close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey and we'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other sessions recordings at strivescan.com slash W-A-C-A-C. Thank you everyone. Bye.